The new MacBook Pro M4 model for 2024 will be coming out with its brand new design and also we have more details on how powerful the M4 chipset will be than the M3 and even to the original M1. Let's go over all the details about this and also cover details about specs for the new MacBook Pro including the screen size, design and other details too and of course give you the latest on the MacBook Pro M4 release date and price as well. But first let's jump in there with the MacBook Pro. It's essentially being upgraded to a new chipset this year. So last year at the end of 2023 the M3 chipsets came out based on a 3 nanometer die. We did have the M3, the M3 Pro and the M3 Max released all at the same time. What was also a big surprise was the actual design. Apple decided to change the design of the base model of the MacBook Pro 13 inch with the touch bar to the new 14 inch design since we've had 2021. The touch bar MacBook has completely gone now and then the new M3 MacBook Pro is literally identical to the M3 Pro and the M3 Max MacBook Pro 14 inch except for it doesn't come in that new space black color and also there is one USB port missing on one side. Apart from this you get all the usual other great upgrades for what the other MacBook Pros offer so this includes the ProMotion display what's a mini LED display, better battery life, extra ports, better peak speakers and of course the updated new design. It is looking likely now that as time goes forward Apple will probably keep this design on this MacBook Pro for the entry level M4, M5 and probably the M6 series too before the design gets updated. So with that don't expect an updated design this year on the MacBook Pro. Of course there might be a few little other changes so for example Apple may finally introduce Face ID in the notch at the top but that's probably about it but overall the design mainly is going to stay the same for a long time. The biggest change what is going to happen though is what's happening underneath the MacBook Pro and that's with its chipset. The M3 came in saying it was 30% faster than the M1 for performance cores but the efficiency cores were 50% faster than M1 yet using the same amount of power that the M1 uses. Even for graphics the M3 is 65% faster than the M1 again again using that same amount of power. With looking at these charts it's fairly obviously the M4 could be on average about 75% faster than the M1 overall on all of its cores meaning for the first first time that anyone who's got an M1 MacBook Air and M1 MacBook Pro you might actually notice the difference in performance here and on this could be happening in high demanding apps or tasks so it might actually be worth waiting to upgrade this time for the M4 series. To go with that Apple cannot get away with making 8 gigabytes of RAM the smallest amount now in 2024 especially that the base model of the M3 Pro increased from 16 to 18 gigabytes. Also the fact that iPhones come with 8 gigabytes of RAM now in their Pro models too. With that it's very possible that Apple will now offer 10 or 12 gigabytes as the base amount of RAM but it certainly won't be 16 gigabytes but at least it's an increase of some sort. It is also more than likely that Apple keep efficiency the same or better so do expect still the great 22 hour battery life in the 14 inch model. Now having said all that at this stage I will mention that not all the and reports are 100% proof that everything that's being said here is definitely going to be coming true with the new M4 MacBook Pro. However, if you're still watching this video, then you're just curious in knowing what's being said about the new MacBook anyway. So the next question is on release date. So more than likely, for the main course of 2024, we will get, say, the M3 Ultra, and that will come out in the Mac Studio, and other devices like the Mac Mini will get the M3 and the M3 Pro, and that will happen before the end of the summer time. With the M1 Pro, M1 Max, to the M3 Pro, to the M3 Max, Apple will now have a pattern to bring out new chipsets every year, and last year, we got the M3 along with that. Over the last 10 years Apple have more often than not done a mid-October to early November time event and it looks like this could be happening the same. Just like what we had in 2023 we had the scary fast event on October 31st but whenever this event date is happening it's going to be most likely around about that time. But until then guys keep posted on this channel and I'll let you know when the official date is actually going to be happening. 
So then guys, what I just want to quickly talk to you about is the channel giveaway, what is happening on this channel right now. So I'm going to be giving away this. This here is a MacBook Air M2, and it's not just any ordinary MacBook Air M2. In fact, it has some great upgrades. I'm just looking at the specs here. It's actually got 512 gigabytes storage inside of it, and also at the same time, it's been upgraded with 16 gigabytes of RAM, because as you know, in 2000 2024 8 gigabytes RAM is not enough and if you want to get your hands on the specced up MacBook Air all you need to do is write down in the comments below of what Apple gear what technology gear you're planning to get in 2024 to enter into this giveaway and also at the same time as well it's an international giveaway make sure if you are brand new here that you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because i'll be announcing when a live stream is going to be happening to reveal who the winner is of this macbook air and you won't want to miss out on that so make sure you do that right now now again i'm gonna to have to say there's sadly there's still loads of scammers spammers people impersonating me telling you to whatsapp them telegram them all sorts of things like this and telling you to pay for shipping this is not me i'll be paying for shipping on this international giveaway so please do ignore them or better still as you can see here please do report them so then next of all is the price and the best way to do this is with a review of specs as well so then like i have said already the new macbook pro m4 design will be the design we had with the m3 it's the same design we had with the 14 inch for the last couple of years so this will be a 14 inch xdr liquid retina mini led display with a resolution of 3024 by 1964 and it will be a pro motion 120 hertz display We'll be getting 512 gigabytes going all the way up to 4 terabyte in storage options. There will also be the new M4 chipset inside of it and this again will probably be an 8 core CPU and a 10 core GPU. Apple tend to not have the binned version of their M4 inside their Pro model so we're not expecting it here. But finally at last guys we're probably going to be getting at least 10 gigabytes of RAM as the base amount of RAM this time and then a choice of 18 gigabytes and then also 24 gigabytes too. The actual body will be an aluminum body or an aluminium body and that will probably come again in that space grey and silver colour. Then for ports we will still get the MagSafe, two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, HDMI 2.1 and an SD card slot. Again that centre stage webcam will still be that 1080p webcam that we have there and battery life will most likely still be up to 22 hours. And then the price based on the minimum sort of base model you get so this is the m2 8 core cpu 10 core gpu and also 10 gigabytes of ram and also 512 gigabytes of storage this will probably come in at 1599 us dollars and with that guys that is a summary of the new macbook pro m4 in my opinion it's really quite exciting to see the next generation of chipsets and at the same time as well i'm really excited that apple are going to probably keep those efficiencies exactly the same so we can get that great battery life inside the macbook pro but it's time to wrap up this video too so if you have enjoyed watching it please make sure you like the video and also at the same time too if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons please make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell until next time guys i'll see you really soon take care bye bye